Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're going to rank, uh, predict the round of 16 of the Qatar 2022 World Cup. That's the end of the group stages now. Let me know what your surprises were, who surprised you the most, who let you down and who, if you're dark horses and all you're still in. I was in mine with Serbia, they were kind of locked, knocked out in the group stage. And so we'll go straight into it. Well, we've got the first game we've got today. This will be before the game. I'll upload this before three o'clock. We've got Netherlands versus USA. Netherlands, uh, they won, I think, seven games. They got seven points out of the possible nine. They look all right. Cody Gakpo is the man in four. I'd say he's their danger man for the Dutch team. Uh, USA, they did well. Obviously, they came second in their group. So obviously, they got, um, <clears throat> can't think of how many they got. They got five points in that game. I'm pretty sure they did. Um, Drawn to Wales and England, and busy got a good win against Iran. So my prediction on this one, I'm going to go Netherlands two, USA nil. And also, it depends on the Christian Pulisic injury if he's going to be fit or not. I'm going to stick with two nil to Holland. Next one, we got Argentina versus Australia. <clears throat> Argentina won their group with Poland, Mexico, and Saudi Arabia. They did have a shaky start with, and they lost two one to Saudi Arabia, but they. Picked up some points and they obviously qualified. Australia, fair play to them. Qualified in their group second. A team with like Tunisia, Denmark and France. They came second in that. So big congrats to t a player team in Australia. Harry Suter having a really good World Cup. I can see him being the next person to go for a big move somewhere. I don't know where, but he's the one that stands out. My scoreline, I'm going to say Austra Argentina. <clears throat> Sorry, hard high pitch there. Argentina three, Australia nil. I think you will be the scoreline on that one. <clears throat> Next one, we have England versus Senegal. I think it'll be a tough game. I think we'll win, but I think it'll be tough. I think Senegal having just a gay suspended. I think that's a big bonus. But they still got like the centre backs and good goalies. So they got Mendy, they got Koulibaly, got Diallo, two good set of defenders and a goalkeeper. For us, I think it all depends what Southgate's going to do in terms of the wings. I would stick with the same team against um, Wales. But then maybe, because Saka instead of Hensi are actually going to attack it. So I'm going to go England 2, Senegal 1. I think that's going to be the score on that one. So then we've got France versus Poland as well. So fair play to both teams on that one. France, obviously, they won their group. Poland, for me, didn't look convincing, but they got the job done, obviously. They had less really yellow cards in Mexico. So I'm going to go France 3, Poland 0. I think that'll be a, just a... Yeah, Poland not going to have a shot on target. France is going to obliterate them. So the next game we've got is Japan versus Croatia. I think this one... I mean, Croatia, they came second in their group. You expect them to be around there or maybe first because there's another team who surprised me the most. Japan definitely surprised me the most. Beat teams like Germany, beat teams like Spain. Yes, they lost to Costa Rica, but they're not shy of going to, like going against bigger teams. And I'm going to go for a shock on this one. I'm going to go Japan two, Croatia one. I think yeah, you look at the team. I think Croatia could do it, but I I don't want to be boring. I don't want to add a but it, uh, actually no. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm changing that. I'm going to go two one Croatia. I'm sticking with two one Croatia now. If Japan wins this two one, I'll be pissed. Brazil, South Korea. Brazil basically won six, um, six out of nine. Obviously, they lost to Cameroon, but obviously, they lost their second, they put the second tier out, so you don't blame them. And South Korea, last minute winner against uh, Portugal, win 1 2 1, and they threw, beat Uruguay, and that, uh, and um, beat. <coughs> sorry, I can't remember who the other group was. Sorry about this, guys. Ghana, that's the one. Sorry, I couldn't remember who it was. So beat South Korea, as I beat Port South Uruguay and Ghana will send them out. So I feel like this game, I think it'll be Brazil four, South Korea nil. I think even with like with even though with, with or without Neymar, with or without Neymar, I think there'll be a good team going forward. The next one we've got is Portugal versus Switzerland as well. So I think that'll be a good game. I think it'll be Portugal 2, Switzerland 1. I mean, Switzerland are not too bad of a team. They're well organised, well run uh, nation. But I feel like Portugal will do it. I think they've got a 
better quality players wise and I think they'll do well going forwards. And the next one as well we've got is Morocco versus Spain. Morocco topped the group with Belgium and Croatia and Canada were in it. And Spain, obviously, they just came second. They nearly went out on one stage when Costa Rica were beating Germany. But they just about got Germany done them a favour. So Spain went through, but then they lost to Japan. So they didn't do Germany a favour. So my one, I'm going to back Spain here. I'm going to go Morocco 1, Spain 2. I think it'll be a tight game. I don't know... Why Rodri's playing at centre back? I mean, it's work. He's a good player and all. I think he's more pushed up more midfield. So I don't know how long Luis Enrique will last. Like put him in that centre back role. I think he needs to start. And also, I think Laporte will come back into it as well. Um, but yeah, that is my round of sixteen predictions, guys, of this year's World Cup. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Um, do apologise if I sound croaking or that. I've still a bit run down still, but I'm still doing the video, so I do apologise about my voice and everything so please <clears throat> comment your predictions down below let me know if your dark horses are still in it let me know everywhere what you predicted in this year's world cup so anyway take care guys have a good see ya